I'm Martin Bailey from Global Graphics Software. That's the company behind the Harlequin Rip. I'm really excited to be able to tell you that we've just launched Harlequin 12 and to be able to tell you about some of the new features in it. First off, Harlequin 12 is now the first major rip for production printing to have full support for PDF 2.0. Ad International Standard was published last August and last year we put out a white paper and a webinar recording to tell you about what's new in PDF 2 for production printing. In those, we argued that the safest way to introduce a new format like PDF 2 is to start right at the end of your workflow and move upstream towards creation. That means that no tool in the workflow will ever have to deal with a PDF2 file without, even, without understanding what to do with it. And that's why we brought out PDF2 support in Harlequin, even though we're fairly early in the lifetime of the standard. The second new functionality in Harlequin 12 is something we're calling dynamic overlays. It's a very easy way of approaching lightweight variable data printing, which can be valuable for labels, for security printing, um, for envelope addressing, etc. Now, this doesn't compete at all with all of the work we've done in the Harlequin Veridata option in, in Harlequin RIPs to support optimized PDF and PDFBT files, but as I said, it can be useful in lightweight environments. It allows you to take data from a CSV file and from automatic counters and to overlay text, images, and barcodes on top of a, a PDF page background. And yes, that does mean there's a barcode generator in Harlequin 12. A third item I want to talk to you about is that the variant of Harlequin that's used in high-speed digital production presses, the Harlequin Host Renderer, is now available on Mac OS as well as on Windows and Linux. There's more information on Harlequin, including what's new in 12, on www.globalgraphics.com. Thanks for listening.